Welcome back to Entrepreneagle. I'm Kelly Nagel. And I'm Josiah Nagel. Thanks for joining us today. So, what are we talking about? Well, what are we doing? Why are we making this channel? Why are we recording these? What's, what's our goal? Well, we want to be entrepreneurs. I mean, I guess we already are, but yeah. officially full-time. What's it, <laughs> what's, full-time. It, what's it take to be an entrepreneur? I guess you just put on your LinkedIn. Uh, right. <laughs> I don't know if I've done that yet. Maybe we're not legit. <laughs> Make it Facebook to... official. Yeah, I don't know if we are. Yeah. Well, I don't know. My my goal has always been to own a small business. I mean, I guess we already have. We have a couple. But to be full time in that, that's that's a lot of pressure. A little bit. But I'm excited and that's why... I don't know. I guess that's why we want to do this channel. Why entrepreneurship though? Like why, why did you want to go from the army full-time biz like work or instead of going from army to full-time business, like in the office, why did you want to go to entrepreneurship? Like mm-hmm. on yeah, you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think maybe we need to go back just a step. So where, where are we coming from? Well, we both, Graduated college with degrees in engineering. And I think the problem solving aspect of that is really what at least drove me to engineering. Not necessarily the the specific type of engineering I was doing, um, but the, the idea of finding a problem and trying different things until you get a solution. That's, that's what allured me to it. So we graduated that. I had a contract with the active duty army for four years. And so I've been doing that kind of in the, the technical field. Mm-hmm. And now that's coming to an end. So I've been, so weird. I've been, and we've been thinking for oh, probably about two years, like what's next? We knew kind of that the army wasn't for us. You know, we, yeah definitely enjoyed it overall lots of good experiences lots of learning and and the opportunity to serve but and not good friends and, yeah, yeah good friends and relationships um yeah. but not not something we desire uh longer term or or even for another few years so we're, we're ready for something different and I think kind of I realized a lot of the the things I don't like about the military, there's going to be the same kind of stuff in a corporate job or uh, an engineering job somewhere. I'm probably going to see those same things, maybe a little different. And I don't know if I'd be happy there. I might just spend the next... 30 years hopping from job to job or career to career yeah. until I find something that's satisfying. And you're, you're a little bit too of the jack of all trades. I wouldn't say like, you don't, you don't necessarily have to be an expert to like, like what you're doing. I don't know. So I feel like being a business owner, you could like, okay, let's just dabble in this for a little while, keep this business running and let's dabble in this for a little while Maybe if it doesn't work out, okay, get rid of that business. Okay. Not like throw money out the door, but like, (laughs) (laughs) I don't know, just long enough to go, okay, I'm enjoying this. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, sometimes I do feel like I know a little bit about a lot of things, but there's not necessarily one topic that I would consider myself a. 100% 100% expert on. So, may, yeah, maybe the entrepreneur lifestyle uh, lends itself to that a little. You don't necessarily have to be an expert. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's that, okay, you're willing to learn and to, like, go beyond, like, okay, I don't know how to do this, so I'm either going to learn to do it or, like, hire somebody to do that for me, whether that be, like, an actual employee up for you or, like, a contractor or something. But... Yeah, that's, that's, I think, a very key aspect of being an entrepreneur. Like, you have to be willing to, like, okay, let's roll with the punches here a little bit. 
even if you don't know what you're doing or how you're, how you're doing it. Yeah. That's like, a good point. I have a dream. How do I get it done? You <laughs> don't know. Maybe that dream will become a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> well, so I think, I think it's cool to kind of document our journey along the way. Yeah. Um, probably should have started out a little while ago, kind of from the very yeah. beginning. Uh, but we, we've been but we also dab- dabbling in a few different businesses yeah. for a year and a half, maybe almost two years. Probably about that, yeah. And now we're, we're about to jump into full-time working for ourselves, entrepreneur, business owners. So it's a great time to start documenting the huge yeah. success we become or the failures we are. Right. <laughs> I guess <laughs> no we'll pressure. see, we'll see what happens and, and documenting it will help yeah. keep us accountable too. Right. Most definitely. We can, uh, you know, we have lots of goals long term. And documenting those goals in some way will, I think, help us stay motivated and accountable to those goals. Yeah. Keep us I agree. keep us going. And maybe some friends and family will enjoy the views <laughs> to watch. <laughs> they can laugh at us. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what happens with that. Yeah, I'm excited though. It would be it would be nice to like years from now to go back through and be like, oh my gosh, what were you thinking? Or, <laughs> or like, wow, like even look, look how far our, like everything has changed. Like we don't do this anymore or we still do this or nope, we've completely dumped like any entrepreneurship and it's all like totally something else. I don't know. I, I don't feel like that one will happen, but it could. It could. <laughs> Definitely yeah. could. Yeah, we don't we don't know what the future holds, but uh, yeah. we have lots of ideas that we want to give a try, give the old college try. <laughs> so I think I think also documenting it can we can share that journey with others and maybe yeah. I definitely was I think we both were kind of nervous at first. Probably still are. Yeah, I'm still nervous. A little bit. <laughs> Le- leaving a, a, a stable income yeah. and going to something that's a little more unpredictable, especially in the current economy, the current restrictions with yeah. uh, the state and local and federal government around the nation. It's kind of a unknown. But... We think it's definitely doable, definitely possible. There's hope. There's and we're, hope. We're betting on it, so right. <laughs> uh, you can hopefully we can we can give other people yeah. some encouragement and give them the the push to to give it a try themselves if that's what they've always been dreaming of. Yeah, and to say we did it starting in 2020 of all years, yeah. right? Oh yeah. Not that we started our businesses specifically this year. I think it's, I mean, like what we said before, but it's been like two years. But, oh my goodness. Like to say like we're jumping full throttle into like this is just wild. Maybe. With the aspect of like it's not like, okay, we have had no income the past two years and we're just going, we're hoping. Like that's not the case, but... We 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 know what we're doing <laughs> somewhat, just a little bit, just like barely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and look forward to to sharing the future journey and the journey yeah. we've kind of been on the last year and a half preparing for this, yeah. um, financially and business wise, creating systems, hiring people. So pretty exciting. Yeah, and looking forward to sharing very, very it. Exciting. Uh, so. I think I think what can what can people get out of watching and listening to us? Hopefully, they can they can follow our different businesses because what really is an entrepreneur? I mean, they're a, not necessarily stuck in one business. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Would you consider someone who opens one restaurant and then works at that restaurant the rest of their lives and runs it an entrepreneur? I think they're a small business owner, hmm. but not necessarily an entrepreneur. So what? What is an entrepreneur then? I don't know. Uh-oh. I don't know. <laughs> That's trouble. I I think it goes beyond that. I think they're willing 
to start something completely fresh and new many a times is what it seems like to me. From from my views of many an entrepreneur. I don't know. Okay. So maybe... Something like totally new and fresh. Like it doesn't have to be like a new invention per se. But just like a new brand. That. So maybe our maybe our goal is to be maybe we should look up the definition. Whatever an entrepreneur <laughs> is, our goal is to be a serial entrepreneur. A serial entrepreneur, like, just attack it. Always starting something yeah. new, time after time again. And I, because I don't think we really see ourselves starting one business and then being in that for 20, 30 years. Yeah, I, I don't think see we that. have lots of. Yeah different ideas and different businesses and startups that we want to try. And some may Mm -hmm. be failures. Some may last for a while. Some we may, you know, hire other people to, to do the majority of while we still manage them. Yeah. Or maybe we'll sell them. Maybe we'll sell our, sell them all to Jeff Bezos. I hear he's got money. Oh yeah. He's top on the Mm. list. (laughs) Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Or uh, Elon Musk. Him too. Elon, him. yeah, yeah. Elon would be good. <laughs> Should invent a, Send our stuff to space. We're going to invent a, a flamethrower that works in space. Oh. The space thrower. The space thrower? Trade, trademarked. <laughs> okay, so following this channel, yeah. people can follow our business ideas, startups, successes, and failures. What else do you think we can share and provide value well, definitely tips that we've learned along the way or currently have learned, like our goals to learn, anything like that. Um, yeah, definitely business tips probably is where I'm thinking. And maybe a mix of like finances of like, okay, you can't be an entrepreneur. You can't be a small business owner and not make money at some point it's your whole goal right like you can't just live off of zero money mm-hmm. that's just not how it works in our world so it's what do you do a charity <laughs> right i'm not running a charity no we're not running a charity charities are great but yeah <laughs> yeah but you can't but we couldn't live off of charity like if if we were just giving all of our money away and we had none like where would we live mm-hmm. how would we eat food i don't know have another charity for that. Welfare. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. No. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, I think, uh, I think we have a lot of information that we can share from how we got to where we are right now. Yeah. And hopefully I think we're going to learn a lot through this journey. We can share that Most along definitely. the way. But yeah, we're not, we're not starting from zero dollars in the bank account and yeah. five credit cards that we're going to max <laughs> no, out in no, the next no, no, two no. months. No, 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 no. I think, I think we're pretty, pretty financially savvy and prepared for this. And I think we want to show others they can do the same and share how we got to this point. Yeah, I agree. I think it's, it's, it's cool, too, to be able to do this, again, in 2020, especially financially. Because, like, yeah, there are, sadly, a lot of people who are, like, struggling. And how can we help those people? How can we hire people and give them a job in this time where there's, I mean, specifically a lot of people, because we're in Anchorage, Alaska, if we didn't mention that before. Um, Aloha. Yeah, <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, could, could, could use a job, I'm sure. Like, how do we... How can we help others in that way too? That would be really good. That's great. Yeah. So hopefully we have lots of value that we can share and teach others and maybe show people what not to do along the way too. (laughs) Yeah. I'm sure there will be plenty of that. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Yeah. Anything else before we close? Hmm. Oh, your Aloha shirt. Uh, uh, What color should he do next? Why, why did you decide the little hockey Yeah, again? so, so, you know, my, my entire life, I've really had to wear some sort of uniform, whether it was through school or through the military. And the other day I woke up, I was like, wait a second, <laughs> once I'm completely out of the military, 
I don't have to wear a uniform yeah. anymore. It's wild. So I thought maybe I'd try Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> See how that goes. You yeah. Know? Uh, Aloha in Alaska. Yeah. yeah. Plus we're in Alaska, so you got to be different. Entrepreneurs have to be different. Just a little bit. You can't you can't survive that lifestyle just doing what everybody else is doing. Yeah. So it's very true. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I know this is the only one I own, though, so I'm going to have to I know. expand my wardrobe. We do. We have to go back to Hawaii when it's open and That's safe. That's true. Yeah, this is authentic from Waikiki. Yeah. <laughs> the tourist trap. <laughs> Just a little bit south of Honolulu, yeah. right? Yeah. Somewhere about there, yeah. I don't know. I think my ge- geography is off there. Yeah. That's okay. It's on the island. Uh huh. It's on that that <laughs> one island. Not the North Shore. Not the North Shore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We should go back there. That was a, that was a good time. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what you can do when you're an entrepreneur. Yeah. You can do what you want, and uh, hopefully that makes you money. So. Maybe um, we should tell them about ourselves just to finish it off. Okay. My name's Josiah. My name's Kelly. <laughs> we live in Anchorage, Alaska. Yeah. That's the... We've been here. So Anchorage, Anchorage, Alaska, for those who don't know much about Alaska, uh, before we moved here, I thought it was the capital of the state, oh. and I was a little embarrassed after telling many people we were moving to the capital you of did. Alaska. <laughs> I didn't know this story. But I actually awesome. didn't know where we were going to. <laughs> but Anchorage is the biggest city yeah. by far, but it's not the capital. Not the capital. Uh, That's Juneau. We've we've enjoyed lots of adventures in Alaska. Uh I'm getting into hunting. Done a lot of fishing. Yes. A lot of fishing. Yeah, lots Our of freezer is packed. Packed. Salmon, halibut. Maybe we can share some of those adventures with you someday. And uh I just shot a moose on a hunting that trip. That was exciting. that was cool. First time ever hunting. No, we don't have to buy ground beef. Yeah. For we a long time. That was de- it's delicious. So anyway. Good. So Alaska. Good. Yeah. We'll probably be here a while. There's a lot yeah. to see in Alaska. <laughs> Biggest state. Yeah. Last frontier. Anyway, what we've else been about here, us? We've been here how many years? What is that now? Uh, three almost, and a half. I'm almost getting four. Getting close to four years here in Alaska. That's we both both grew up years. on the East Coast. Yep. So this is, this is definitely different. And uh, there's a lot of opportunities here. Yeah. We're excited. And we have our first child, Luke. He was yeah. born in January. Yeah, very excited. Yeah. yeah. He's growing fast. And what a year. This is just like one to <laughs> never forget. 2020. <laughs> Hopefully this will be one of the few successes of the year. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have a dog named Willow. She's a husky. She Classic. is so Yeah. She's so excited for the snow. Anything else? Anything else? I think for now. We'll leave it there for now until the next video. Yeah. Podcast. yeah. Well, thanks for thanks for tuning in to Entrepreneagle. If you didn't catch that, it's our last name is Nagel. And we're trying to be, we are entrepreneurs. So Entrepreneagle. <laughs> if you don't get it, then I, I don't think I can explain that anymore. <laughs> yeah, just leave it. Yeah. And it's Nagel like bagel. Like bagel, yeah. Like Just bagel. with an N. But thanks again for tuning in to Entrepreneagle. Follow us for more along this journey, and we'll see you next time.